Hi, now it's mid-March 2012. This is one of the Escalonia bonsais that I did. I really like the trunk, still looking very good. Uh, plant grew fairly well, not as quick as I thought, but it's still growing. And one good thing I saw was that these branches, originally they were kind of green stems, it doesn't really look like a branch, you know. But over the winter, it actually hardened off. It lost the green color, and it's, it's started looking more like a woody branch, you know. So this is good. This is what I like. And so now it's spring. What I'm going to do is just some maintenance pruning, uh, and and help and wait for the new growth to come out. Uh, this this bonsai for me is practically practically done. I I, I don't want to do too much work. I have all the basic material, all the components that I want. The next step is just to define the branches, secondary branches. So for the maintenance, I mean, you notice that the leaves are kind of big. So I'm going to remove some of the big leaves that don't look very nice. And hopefully at the base of the leaves, a new bud will come out. You know, like this one, this is a giant leaf, just way too big for the size. And at the same time, I probably will remove the top, the top of some of these longer shoots, so the new bud can come out. Instead of one branch, I plan to get multiple branches coming out. So... Okay, after some pruning, very light pruning, this is the end result. You know, I'm not trying to do a complete deep leafing, you know, so just to remove the, the bigger leaves and um, shorten some branches just to encourage new branch out, new branches to grow. And, and we'll see, just let it grow. And you can see that um, there are already some new buds coming out. This, this is good, good to see, and those I'll keep. So they do bud from, from old wood. And I just want to show you also, at the same time, I saw some branches that looks like it died. Like this one or this one, but I'm not sure yet. Because it looks like, you know, like this one is dead. But then, then I can still see some growth. So, I will wait. I'm not in a hurry. I'll wait a little bit to make sure that these are 100% dead before I uh, remove them. And if you recall, this is the other Escalonia that also doing very good. Very nice major trunks and branches. So I'm going to do the same thing to this plant. Same thing, just remove all these, you know, the ugly sunburned leaves. Some of them look kind of too big for this tree. And just encourage new growth. I have to say, leaf size wise, this, this Escalonia is doing better than the other one. I mean... Uh, it doesn't have as many big leaves. It has a lot of small branches and leaves, so... So it's looking pretty good. I don't have to do... I didn't have to prune the top of any branches. I, I mean, it is doing good. I don't have to cut the top off, so... Alright, this is it. Looking good. This plant is actually doing better than the other plant. It uh, has much more ramification and uh, you know had a lot of little branches coming out. So okay, just one more shot of both plants at the same time. And again, this is mid-March 2012. Hi, it's May 26, 2012. I just like to take this opportunity to show you an update of the other Escalonias that I planted. If you recall, in other videos, I actually bought four of them. I made two into bonsais, and one, which is this one, I just simply planted into a larger container and let it grow. And this is the result for now. Pretty good. I'm gonna let it grow for a few more years and then. Try to make it into a bonsai. I want to make this one taller. That's why I, you know, I try to grow it a little bit taller.
and this is the other one that I actually grow into the ground and this one is going to be there for a while it's doing very well actually even even have flowers you know uh, this one uh, just gonna leave it in this corner of the house and just let it grow huge well I want a, I want a, a very big one so just gonna let it grow on the ground for a couple more years and same thing in uh, this is uh, you saw a, a shot of this plant in early spring now it's late spring early summer May 2012 and you can see a lot of new growth came out this one I'm just gonna let it grow. I know by the time winter comes, all this, all this uh, branch is gonna become woody. Then I'm gonna prune them next year. Looking pretty good. Plant is responding very well. I'm very happy about this one. You might see in, uh, actually there was a little accident. Almost broke this branch. I had to do some quick repair, which is to wrap some raffia uh, or this kind of uh, natural cord and wrap it around, trying to uh, hopefully uh, to recover the branch. Uh, nothing here has died yet, so it looks uh, that it's gonna hold. And this is the other one that I made. Very nice, strong trunk. Really like that. You, know, you have to remove some of the leaves, yellowing leaves. Looking good, same thing, just gonna let it grow and do maintenance pruning. Nice here, this one. Okay, here's the two of them. You know, my pride from last year, one of the success that I did last year. Hopefully many more to come. And uh, So this is it. This is the end of my update for this plant. And you know, from now on, you're going to be the same every year. Further, uh, you know, pruning, further ramification. And, uh, you know, probably repot it after one more year. Uh, and that's it. So I probably won't show you a lot of this plant uh, in the future. Maybe like an update every two years or so. It will... Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.